All right, hey everyone. Today we're gonna learn how to read and write to files using Go. The file that we're gonna be writing to is the basic text file that we're also creating. So to do this, just make a basic file and call it main.go. It would be preferred if you use a directory. That's because the file that you create, aka the text file, will be inside of that directory, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is just import a couple of things. So th there are three things that we need to import. First of all, we're going to need to import uh, format. The reason why we're importing format is that we can print out what's right inside of the text file. The next thing we're going to need is, is io slash io util. So all this is going to help you do is just write and read. All right. And then what you also need is OS. This is because we need to manipulate the basic hardware of the system to make that computer file. All right. So let's just go ahead and just create a brand new function, and it's just our main function. Now the way that I'm splitting apart the video is in such a way that everything is sort of categorized into its own module. So I'm going to make a function to write, and then I'm going to make a function to read. All right, so the first, so the function to write will just be called function write file. Okay, now inside of function write file, the first thing we're going to want to do is just make our text file. If you already have it created, uh, then you guys just get to skip this part, all right? But even if you like have that file existed and you decide to use it again, right? It's just not gonna create. So just do this part. So we're gonna use file error, okay? We're just gonna go os.create and write the name of your text file. I'm gonna call mine test.txt. Now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is just check for some errors. So if error is in equal to nil, and what we're gonna wanna do is just panic that error, all right? The next thing we're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and make a defer statement. A defer statement is used to be the last thing that the file needs to do, and that is just to close our file. After this, let's just go ahead and write some stuff. So to write some stuff, we're just gonna go underscore comma error. Okay, and then we're just gonna use a declarative operator. Actually, no, I don't think we need to use the declarative operator. And we're going to use file dot write string dot write string, and we're just going to write hello world from go. Now, what's going to happen is that it's going to write hello world from go into the text file that we just created. Now, let's just go ahead and scan for some errors. We're just going to go ahead and panic that error. All right, now the reason why we're having an underscore over here is because we don't want any variables, right? But if you write some variable, like let's just suppose data, right? Then it's just going to simply return a bunch of uh, bits. All right, now let's just go ahead and run this file. So we're, to run this file, just go go run main.go. Oh yeah, we're not using FMT yet, and we're also not using I... Uh, I -O slash I -O -U -T -I -L. So let's just, let's just go ahead and comment that out for now. Now we've run it. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, we haven't uh, actually called upon our function. Let's just go ahead and call upon this function. Okay. Now once we called upon the function, as you can see, there's a brand new text file. Now in the text file, we have this data inside of here. All right, now let's suppose we want to read the file. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Now in order to read our file, uh, we have to basically retrace our steps from what we did in the write file. So instead of writing, we just have to use read. And we don't and we just have to specify the path of that file as well. So function uh, so make a new function and call it read file. Now inside of read file, the first thing you're really gonna want to do is make two variables, data comma error. Use a declarative operator, okay, and you're gonna use the IOU slash TIL or, and uh, F format, right? And all you're going to do is just go iot.read fi file and you're just going to specify the path of your file, which is just text.txt. The next thing we're going to want to do is just, sorry, the next thing we're going to want to do is just go ahead and check for errors. Okay. Okay, now once that's done, all we just really have to do is just go ahead and print out the data. 
To do this, we're just gonna go fmt.println data. However, the only issue right now is that this is in bits or bytes. Now, the way to fix this is, is that we just convert it over into a string. All right, now if I go ahead and call upon this function read file, right below uh, write file, we need to do it below because we need the file to be created, right? Okay, as you can see, we made a file. Okay, we wrote some data, and then we also read data and printed it out. Now, yeah, so that's how you read and write fi files inside of Go. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.